life, love, relationships. Wait, we're going to give away all our secrets? Welcome to The Man Perspective with K-Man and the Dawn. Topic today is if you have a woman friend who is seriously hot, can your girlfriend deal with it? We'll be right back with on The Man Perspective with K-Man and the Dawn. So if you have a woman friend, and it could be a coworker or a friend that you've known for a long, long time, you know, you never really slept with her. You never, you know, was intimate or anything like that. Just friend. Just a friend, co-worker, someone, you know, you hang out with and talk with because she's a co-worker and you do things. And she happens to be hot. Mm. I mean, seriously hot. <laughs> I mean, crazy hot. And, you know, you introduce her to your girlfriend. You know, hi, how you doing? Yeah, this is my friend. Da, 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 da. Can your girlfriend deal with that? My current one? Yes. The ones in the past? No. Not even a little bit. It would eat them alive. Really? Eat them alive. Why so? Why so? A lot of the girls that I dated in the past before my current girlfriend, mm. very possessive, okay. very insecure. Okay. They were like Velcro. Wow. Even if they thought, not even saw, just thought that I gazed in the direction of another female, it would be World War Three. Wow. Now, see, that's interesting because the woman that I'm currently seeing now I'm in that situation, and I had a chance to do what is known as the man test. <laughs> the man test. Okay, you know what the man test is? No. The man test is Tell me. to introduce your girlfriend to a hot chick and see her reaction, to let her know. And you got to do it to a girl that you've known, you know, for quite some time. Not someone you just met off the street, you know, a couple yeah. of days. It's someone you know. And she's freaking hot. <laughs> now, she may have a boyfriend, but you don't, you don't have to tell your they girlfriend that. that. They don't have to know that. Just, you know, she could be a co-worker. Because, mm. you know, we work and you can have a co-worker that you've worked yeah. for, you know, five, six years. So they know you. So yeah. it's like, hey, how you doing? How you doing, Sarah? Hey, how you doing, Sally? How you doing, you know, Cindy? <laughs> How's everything? And you're cool with it. Yeah. But she's extremely hot because she wears those, you know, tight skirts and the tight shirts and, and all that. And she, <laughs> you know, she got a body, mm. right? And so now you take your girlfriend and say, oh, let me introduce you to Sarah over here. Right? And she's spanking her. And you're like, wow. You want to look at her reaction. And you want to see what she's thinking. Because when you do that, what ends up happening is now your girlfriend is saying, well, dang, maybe he could get hot girls than I can. So they got to be on their game. They got to be on point now. You follow? Yeah. Then, of course, you have some that's going to, like mine, for example. (laughs) Right? Because I ended up doing something like this. You know, I was talking to a hot, very hot, attractive woman. She had stepped. We went to the club. Let me me point the scenario. Paint the picture. We, We went to a club, right? I don't know. She, I guess, stepped away to go get a drink or whatever. And I happened to, this girl was asking me a question about something. Yeah. And we got into the conversation. But I wasn't, like, talking to her in the sense of saying, hey, you know, let me get your number or anything like that. Just we was just kind of just general conversation, you know, about the atmosphere. And she was talking about the music and this and that. So okay. it was a nice little conversation. Yeah. Had nothing to do with it, but she was extremely hot. And she, I guess maybe she figured because I was by myself, but I wasn't. You know, a girlfriend you by was by the, the bar or whatever. She's by the bar getting her drink on and she's mm. going to come over back over to me. So now she comes back over to me, right? And, you know, she gets a drink and so forth and so on. And she's like, oh, you know, who's this? And I'm like, you know, I don't know her that well, but, you know, we was just conversating about what's going on. And then I just introduced her to her. Okay. But how I introduced her was like, oh, you know, this is a friend of mine, such, such. Right. Now, we don't know each other from Adam. <laughs> so you, I just met this chick. Just that night. Just that night. Okay. Just met the girl. Never spoke before. Never spoke before. Okay. Never seen her in my life. But she was extremely hot. Mm. But I just introduced her as, hey, this is my friend Debbie or whatever. Mm. And Debbie, this is my fiance. And I introduced her, you know, my fiance. So I said, and she's like, oh, okay. Yeah. Nice to meet you, right? <laughs> so now the chick walks away. Right? She's like, okay, well, you know, take care. Blah, blah, blah. She walks away. Yeah. So, of course, now, right? Now my girl's like, um, so uh, have who's you slept that? with her? Yeah, <laughs> who's that? You know, where you know her from? <laughs> you know, does she go to school with you? The interrogation you know, right. begins. There you go. So now 
it let her know that she was jealous. <laughs> yeah. She was insecure, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and that I had an attractive girl that was actually talking to me, who, who actually came up to me, which mm-hmm. is cool. So now she got on her game <laughs> to tighten up to say, well, damn, I must be slipping. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, make a long story short, you know, we ended up making love later, and that, that was good. So, nice. You know, so it kind of got me a little bit. Hey, so it, it could have went severely... In the other direction. South. Oh, absolutely. And could've it could have been south. World War Three. Could have went south. Yeah. But the question is, can women handle that? Hey, ladies. I know it's hot outside right now, and you're on the beach in bikinis or in the club at night, tearing it up, but cuffing season's coming. So, you get your man, get on the couch, and you listen to The Man Perspective. With K-Man and the dog. Well, I think it depends on the type of woman. If they have any insecurities, anything that sets them off, I don't think they can handle it. Like I said, I've dated many, many women who are very possessive. And it's always a go-to with possessive women where it's a problem. That's the best way I could put it. Or it can become a problem, it depending could, yeah, it could on how you deal with the situation. Yes. Yes. You know, you don't want to make it a problem, but it could become a problem. See, oh, yeah. I didn't want to say to her, and I may be wrong, and many of you out there probably say, well, maybe you should just tell <laughs> the truth. Yeah, but see, if I would have done that, <laughs> yeah. I could have started World War Three. Yes. Because if I would have said something to the fact of, oh, you know what, I just met her, or she came up to me, or this and that, or she tried to kick it to me. Now it's like, oh, you was trying mm-hmm. to talk to her. Yes. You know, did you get her number? Is that what you like? And- you know? <laughs> It opens a whole new set of interrogation questions. And it wasn't even about that. It was just she was a hot chick. She walked by. She stopped. She started chatting with me about something totally different. I chatted back. I was like, yeah, that is kind of wild. You know, da, da, da. Hmm. And next thing you know, here come my girl walking up with her drink. And she's like, (laughs) you know, looking at me. So I said, let me think quick. And say something, you know, because I don't know her. I knew her name after that. But I didn't get a number. I behaved myself. Mm. But because I knew her name, I said, oh, this is my friend, da-da-da. And then I introduced her as, you know, this is my lady right over here, da-da-da. So mm. what's the problem? Yeah. So she was like, oh, okay, that's cool. And when she walked away, you know, I didn't check her out. Mm. But I knew she was banging. But she checked out. That was what was interesting, though. Oh, See, the yeah. women check her out more so than they you do. have to check. Because I didn't have to check her out. I just let her walk to let her know that, yeah, she mm. got it going on. And I know you're looking at her, and you seeing me with her, and you realizing how hot she is. Oh, yeah. Now you're sitting to yourself, well, where do you know this person from? And I'm like, yeah, well, you know, she's an old friend, this and that. Mm-hmm. And I played it off, see? So now, <laughs> then the interrogation came, well, you know her from? And I didn't want to get into all of that. I was like, yeah. oh, she's just a friend, and left it alone. But like I said, it got me a little bit nooky, so <laughs> that was good. <laughs> But see, had I went into it more deeply mm. and said, you know, it was an old girlfriend, wrong answer. Yeah. Or, That's you know, right. it's a person I was sleeping with, wrong answer. Absolutely. Old girlfriend, wrong mm-hmm. answer. You understand? I just said, nah, it's just a, just a friend. friend. Just a friend I know mm-hmm. way back. Co-worker even. You can even yeah. say, hey, it's a co-worker. Mm-hmm. I think that's what I said. Oh, it was a co-worker. And mm-hmm. left it alone. That's the best way to respond. Right. <laughs> That way I don't have to go into a whole lot of detail about her, Mm -hmm. and I didn't want to make the conversation about her, although she wanted to. Mm -hmm. And see, this is what you guys got to understand, that how women think. They want you to make that a conversation so they can go in on you. See, They want to go in on you and say, oh, I got him now. Mm -hmm. Let's make this conversation. They want you to say something stupid. There you go. Put you in that back corner, back you up, Mm -hmm. and you spill the beans. Yep. (laughs) When Mm -hmm. it's really not all about that. No. You know, it's really not about that. But, hey, hit us up. Let us know if you've had any experiences like that, if you've ever had a chance or an opportunity to have a friend, a woman friend who's extremely hot, and you introduce your girlfriend to her and see her reaction and see what's going on. Let us know what happened. Yeah. So you got our perspective. (laughs) We like to hear your perspective. So definitely hit us up on themanperspective at gmail.com. Or use the hashtag themanperspective. Now you heard our perspective, it's time to hear yours. Get at us at themanperspective at gmail.com. Or use the hashtag themanperspective.